the 2022 season has come to an end, and what is left for all teams involved is to pick up their rewards for their performances. As it is for every competition, the winner would celebrate their winnings while every other person or team would look back and try to figure out what they could have done better. This isn't a bad thing after all, because the need to self-reflect is the fuel to drive one toward greatness. So it wasn't much of a fuss when the champions stood on the podium to celebrate their hard work while the rest cheered them on. However, Red Bull principal Christian Horner believes that his other driver, Sergio Perez, had done a fine job this season. Even though he ended up in P3, Horner believes the driver still fared better than his fierce competitor, Charles Leclerc of Ferrari. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel where we bring you the most amazing racing content from around the world. On today's episode, we'll be hearing the views of a former driver and now principal of Red Bull. We'll be sharing his thoughts on Sergio Perez and Leclerc's performance this season. So before we get into the juicy details, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You should also turn on our post notifications by clicking on the bell icon below to get more up-to-date content as it drops. So let's get right into it. Here comes Sebastian Vettel, through goes Hamilton, Max Verstappen wins a Formula 1 Grand Prix. The Abu Dhabi Grand Prix held several meanings for the different drivers as the race commenced. However, unlike as it should be, the focus of the race was not on who was going to win the title, but on P2. Red Bull's Max Verstappen had already cemented his place in the top position even before they came to Abu Dhabi and only had to run towards his unchallenged P1. On the other hand, his teammate Sergio Perez was in fierce competition against Ferrari's Leclerc. This battle had been long coming and both drivers had struggled for prime positioning. As the race was almost coming to a close, we saw something that shifted this fierce competition to the side and bordered more on acceptance. Red Bull had pulled Sergio Perez into the pits on two occasions, and this further separated both drivers, ultimately making Charles Leclerc win P2 in both the championship and final race. Max Verstappen went on to win, followed up by Leclerc and then Perez, who, according to Christian Horner, was having the season of his life. Now, it's fair to understand those team strategies also had a part to play in the final fight for the P2, and it wasn't all due to the driver's performances. In the case where Red Bull had pulled in Perez twice, Ferrari on the other hand had only one pit stop for Leclerc, who blazed on to second place. In Perez's defense, we could say that he put in his best to recover this gap, but he had to deal with a technical Lewis Hamilton who was ready to hold on to his position and keep Perez from getting past him. Could this have been a miscalculation on Red Bull's part, or was this an intentional decision by the team? This is the question we're also asking, and who better to answer us than Red Bull's principal, Christian Horner? Leclerc, who had started the season in a flying start and has positioned himself well with early wins, would rue his chances. He had the potential to have given Verstappen a fight to the finish, but dealing with bad team strategies, car breakdowns, and driving errors rid him of the opportunity. This is why Christian Horner believes that when it comes to Rue missed chances, Leclerc had more to Rue than Perez. He also believed that, looking at it in context, if Verstappen had given Perez second place at Brazil, maybe Leclerc would have had more to Rue. He said, I think you've got to look at the season as a whole, and when you look at it, both Charles and Jekko would be ruining missed opportunities. He went further by saying, Probably a few more missed opportunities for Charles than for Jekko. Well, one would expect any principal to applaud his driver's performance over the competition, but as he continued, this wasn't the reason for his statement. Horner felt that Perez had a more exciting performance overall than the Monegasque who fumbled P1 early and had to fight to the final moment for P2. This is what he had to say about both drivers. You've got to look at it as a performance over the year and not as an individual race, and Jekko's had the best year he has ever had in Formula 1. Considering this statement, it's imperative we remind you that Sergio Perez really put up a lot of surprising performances and these are what his principal applauds. In his interview, Horner went on to mention some of Perez's achievements this season. He won the Monaco Grand Prix, his drive in Singapore was outstanding, the best Grand Prix I've seen him drive, and I think he'd take a huge amount of positives. Those are some nice encouragements from Horner. 
Now, let's take a quick pause and use this medium to remind you to subscribe to our channel. If you haven't, then what are you waiting for? We're offering you exclusive access to the hottest rating content. Also, be sure to turn on post notifications and get the content as soon as it drops. Now, to answer the question concerning the pit stop call that was given to Perez, which took him away from the second position, Horner had this to say. It was all about the front right tire. It was graining and was opening up and at that point was dying. And then you saw Charles close in. He believed that this was the best call at that point and that there was nothing they could do when Ferrari took a different approach. For Christian Horner, that was a gamble on Ferrari's side and he felt it could have been detrimental in the long run. However, luckily enough, that didn't happen and Charles Leclerc went on to win the P2. In Horner's words, Basically, they, Ferrari, called to pit or to do the opposite to Checo. We banked the stop, but then that exposed him, Leclerc, massively at the end of the stint. So rather than sort of die at the end of it and be the sitting duck, we take an attacking strategy. The strategy did work as planned, but Horner believed that Perez could have caught up to him if only he'd be able to get past Hamilton. So that's it guys, we hoped you enjoyed this video, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, you can do that now so you don't miss any of our fiery content. You should also turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on the latest drops. Feel free to share with us what you think about Christian Horner's opinion on this episode by dropping your views in the comment section below. Thanks for joining us today and have a great one.